Hello guys, welcome to ABK Bits. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the e-commerce application. By using this application, you can grow your business in online way. So this application is basically designed for every type of product selling like uh, it is a grocery type of items or it is a electronics item or footwares or any other item you can sell your items by using this online e-commerce application so basically this application uh, has three main applications so one application is for user uh, another application that uh, i will going to show you okay so second application is our delivery boy application so by using this delivery boy application you can complete your orders and we can track online the delivery boy and third one is our admin panel so whatever the orders and uh, all the things that can be controlled by this admin panel so in this video we are going to describe in detail all about this e-commerce package so before starting the video if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get the notification of all my videos so let's get started so basically this e-commerce application can be used anyone that who wants to sell all the items in online way so this is our welcome screen So the login screen is appear here. Uh, user can log in by using his mobile number. We have implemented the OTP system here. So I will directly log into application. If you want to make any kind of application, you can directly contact with me. My mobile number. Uh, and whatsapp uh, contact is given in the description of this video so if you want design any application you can contact me okay this is our home page of our application so when application is open we will show some coupon codes for the users suppose the user is new one we can able to show the coupons for the users and that coupons will be controlled by admin panel okay so on the top of this uh, home screen you will see some scrolling banners so we can put this scrolling banners from the admin panel so i will show you the admin panel also side by side so you will get the better idea about the application so i will just log into uh, admin panel okay so this is our dashboard uh, from the dashboard we will see all our orders pending orders picked orders in process completed and all these types of orders vendors will shown from this dashboard uh, later on we will see the categories that we have added in the application so side by side you will also see these categories that we have added so you can add any category from this category section we have given this section for adding the new category the user can simply just upload the photos and uh, write the name of category and uh, after clicking on this add category button the category will be added here later on we will see the products okay so to add the product we need to select the category first and uh, in this category we have suppose these three items or three products so that will be we will see this in so if we go through the this main category you will see the three items where there that will be added from the admin panel uh, here at the bottom of this home screen you will see some options here you will see all the categories okay these are the likes item if you if user 
added some items in the favorite category or a favorite list that will be shown here this is a cart whatever the items added in the cart will be shown here okay so suppose for example uh, we will add these items in the cart we will add some sample items so first we will go through the main category then we will add some items in the cart here okay so let's go to the cart in the cart we have two items a uh, user can add or remove the items from the cart also after placing the order you will see some address fields will be there so i will put some address here for example i will add some sample address here okay then flat number or the uh, apartment that have to be entered here then confirm details uh, you will see all the details of order and uh, amount that have to be paid by the user on the checkout page so two items were added and uh, total will be shown here uh, if you want add some taxes and the fees that can be added from the admin panel that will be reflected here and that will be automatically added or removed from this total amount uh, one more section is there that is uh, coupon section if we have some coupons we can apply the coupons here and uh, we will get the discount okay so this coupon section uh, can be added or removed from the coupon offer and coupon section so here you will see the user uh, admin have a rights to add some coupons suppose for example i will add here new user and how much percentage we have to uh, give the off that will be added here also you can upload the banner for example i will add this sample banner here okay so this coupon will be added here and 10% uh, off that will be applied for this coupon okay and uh, we have two options one is online payment option and a cash on delivery option so user can select either cash on delivery or online payment option for online payment option we have a two payment gateways that is uh, one is razor pay gateway or a phone pay gateway we can use any phone pay gateway that account will be uh, related to the client and uh, after this we will place the order okay uh, i will make the order as a cash on delivery order so you will see the order is successfully placed and uh, we can give some reward points to user according to uh, our logic and uh, we can just wait so this is our order section we, we will see the order details here uh, my i have ordered two items total amounts and uh, all these things uh, now uh, we will see these orders in the admin section if you go to the order section you will see the order is displaying in the admin panel right so we have some options here uh, action what action we have to take on the order that will be done from this particular action button so either the admin can cancel order or it will mark order as a delivered or third option is assign delivery boy so he will assign the order to some particular delivery boy okay so this order is assigned yes we will go to the okay so you will see this order is assigned to the delivery boy that name is dev okay and uh, if admin wants to see the order details he can click on the view order details so he will see the details of order from this section uh, user details like uh, address username order details right then uh, total number of order items 
and uh, total amount will be shown here now we have assigned that order to delivery boy now we will go through the delivery boys uh, application and we'll see uh, the order is comes or not on for this delivery boy okay so this is our delivery boy okay so this one is our delivery boy application uh, we will log into the delivery boy we can add this delivery boy from the admin section so if you go to the delivery man section you will see all the delivery boys over here you will see uh, the one of the delivery boy that we have added the name is dev and uh, his address email address and the password is given so we will just uh, logged in using this name and this password for the delivery boy so i will write here the name of the boy is dev and the password is one two three four five okay and then we will log in we have one more option here apply for rider if new rider have to be registered he will first apply for the rider and that rider will be approved from the admin panel so we'll just log in uh, after login you will see some access is have to be given to this delivery boy application because we are tracking this uh, delivery boy uh, in live in admin panel and user application also so for that purpose we have to provide some location access to the application so after giving the access to application we need to turn on our uh, gps system of the device right so here you will see uh, some map is here okay and uh, after that uh, we have two option one is pending order and uh, completed order okay so this bike will shows the delivery boys current address okay the current address will be located by this bike marker then in pending order section uh, we will see all the pending order that will be assigned to the boy so here uh, we will see some details after clicking on view details you will see the order details here whatever the order details will be there that will be seen here and then uh, if if delivery boy wants to get a location of that user on the map then he can click on this root button and uh, after that you will see uh, the route will be drawn from delivery boy to user location suppose for example here user location is somewhat in odisha okay this is some demo order will be placed from the odisha so that's why the route is drawn from delivery boy to the user location in this way we can directly track the order so this tracking will be available for user application as well as the admin also after that uh, after going to the pickup location the delivery boy will click on the pickup order then he will confirm uh, the order to pick after this uh, you will see in the admin panel that order status is changed so if you go to the order section the next status is uh, delivery boy will click on the out for delivery if he is going to the out for delivery after picking the item then the next step is to click on the out for delivery then he will confirm the step and then here you will see the order is processing and uh, the order number is 27 now so we will see the order number 27 this one this uh, status is processing so this delivery boy has picked the order and order is in processing state after that he will make delivery at the drop location when he reach at the drop location and uh, then he will click on this deliver button after that he will see some 
verification code the verification code is comes from uh, user application so that uh, order number 2627 okay okay this uh uh, verification code comes from the user uh, user application and that uh, code after placing this code only uh, the user can place the order so this is all about the e-commerce application if you want to make such kind of application or your own application with your uh, brand your logo and your contact details uh, you can make a contact with me the, on the number given below thank you so much